Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be canning up some green beans. Stick around. Right. So all that I have to do is I just have to trim them up. And, you know, you can just break them apart if you like. They just snap apart. Or um, I'm going to use some scissors and um, do it that way. But um, it's a little easier for me. Then I'm going to um, cold pack them, which means I'm just going to put them in the jars, put a little salt in each jar, fill it with water, put them into my canner, a cold canner, and I'm going to bring them all up to temperature at once. And then I'm going to process these for 20 minutes at 10 pounds pressure. Okay, so I'm just going to put in um, about a quarter teaspoon of kosher canning salt. Just like so. And I'm going to do that with all my jars and then get them into the canner. Now when I can up vegetables, um, I like to use good filtered water. I don't like to use water from the tap. It has a lot of chlorine in it and um, it kind of gives the vegetables an off taste even if they've been boiled. So I like to use bottled water, filtered water. I have nine pints of green beans in my canner. Um, they're about half an inch head space. They're cold packed, which means that they've been put into the jars raw. They've been covered with cold water. The canner is cold, and there is cold water in the canner. And I'm going to uh, put my lid on. And we're going to bring this up to temperature all at once. And that's the meaning of cold pack. Um, so we're going to bring it all up to temperature all at the same time. And then when it gets to 10 pounds pressure, we're going to lower our heat. And we're going to keep it at 10 pounds pressure for 20 minutes. Today I'm going to be making up a pot of chili. And I'm going to be canning it up. Um, I've already got some green beans and some carrots in my canners right now. They're going. They're going to be done in a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to get started on this pot of chili. And I'm going to show you how I make it. One of the products that I like to use, it's, it's we call it a chili brick. And um, you can buy this in almost any store that you go to. Um... And it's got, it's, it's just comes in a, in a little brick and uh, it's just loaded with spices and um, all kinds of goodness. It helps build the base. That's how I grew up making chili was this method. And uh, I'm too old to learn something new. So that's step number one. So two... Um, now I'm going to add my beans, my kidney beans. I'm going to uh, open them and put them in a colander and I'm going to drain them and rinse them before I put them in here. 
two cans of uh, kidney beans drained, rinsed. One large can of tomato sauce. I have some diced tomatoes here with basil, oregano, and garlic. And I have a can of tomato paste. I'm going to throw that in there. Now, we're just going to give this a stir. And we're going to plug this in. Let it simmer for a couple hours. I still have to add the ground beef. Um, my stove is occupied right now. So when my stove is no longer occupied with my other canners, uh, then... I'll get the ground beef going and we'll throw in some ground beef. Let me give this a quick taste. Mm. That's going to be good. All right, let's get this plugged in. Get started on that. Okay, so now I'm browning up the ground beef to put into my chili. It's almost done, and I'm going to throw that into the pot, juice and all. Not going to waste any of it. Okay. I'm going to let this go about another hour and then I'm going to put it up in jars. And we're, to, we're going to can this up too. The end of my canning session today is done. I am done. D-O-N-E, I am done. I have, uh, I have five pints of chili that I made um, today. I have ten pints of green beans that I made and canned up today. And I have uh, five pints of carrots that I made and canned up today. So I have been a busy, busy woman today. But it's going to be good on my shelf. And that's what this is all about. Alrighty guys, it's been a long day, it's almost over, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell down there below you, be safe, be well, and be kind, and we will see you later, bye bye.